Let's talk about movement in After Effects. If you animate a shape in After Effects, for example this white circle, and you create two keyframes for position, like so, for example, you can see that when you play it back, something's not right. And what is not right is that it actually doesn't resemble a real-life object when it's moving. In real life, when an object is moving, you get an acceleration, you will get a full speed, then you get a slowdown and a full stop eventually. Also, you have a motion blur. And in this case, none of this is present. If we play it back again, you can see that it just starts moving all of a sudden at full speed and stops immediately. That's not how real life objects behave and that's why it seems off, that's why it's weird and it looks unnatural. And we are going to fix that. We are going to use two techniques. Uh, the first one is adding the acceleration and the slowdown. And the second one is motion blur. So I'm going to start by selecting, uh, actually by going to graph editor I have to select the position with this icon. I'm going to click and drag, right click, keyframe velocity. I'm going to set these numbers to 0, 65, 0 and 65. And now if we play it back again, you can see that it has an acceleration, it has a slowdown, but it still looks like a sequence of images and we don't want that. So now if you go to Composition Settings and under Advanced you will find the Motion Blur. You need to set the Shutter Angle to 360 and the Samples Per Frame to around 24. And then if you actually turn on Motion Blur for this layer in by this smaller square, you can see that this one lit up in blue. That means that the Motion Blur is on. If you play it back right now, you can see that this is way better. So if you compare these two actually, this is the with the motion blur and this one is without. So I think that it's quite clear what is better, right? So in two steps, two quick steps, we made sure that our movement looks natural, that it looks as if it were an actual object and uh, it's one significant, quick and very uh, powerful step to make your animations look, look good, pleasing and natural. And um, I usually, when I'm animating, I'm applying this to all, all the movements. It then looks as if, it, it, looks, it doesn't look fake, right? It just looks better. Um, and yeah, so that is how you create a natural looking movement in After Effects. Uh, I hope you found it useful. If yes, consider liking and subscribing and I will see you in the next one. Bye!